So when we talk about research in general, um, there are a lot of gaps when it comes to who is represented in things like clinical trials and the data that is collected. Um, talk to me about, um, from your perspective, are patients uh, talking about clinical trials or doctors bringing them up? What are some of the things that you feel like can be done to kind of close that gap of this, you know, these blind spots in the data, especially as we advance with technology? You know, we have these conversations about, oh, the, you know, there's this insight from machine learning, but then there's like this whole group that is not even represented to, you know, sometimes these things that have specific genetic and hereditary components, yeah. like you said. So what are your thoughts on that? So most of these researchers, when you look at the papers, they also look at the uh, geographic de demographics and all that. Uh, but having said that, you know, most of the patients, uh, we don't enroll them in a conversation saying, look, uh, but th we are getting more, more and more, more and more aware of because the treatments are getting more, you know, niche. And some of the treatments are getting more toxic as well. So we're also looking at patient reported outcomes in clinical trials. So you're also looking at quality of life, of course, because most of these new drugs, you know, as the cancer treatments progress, it's across the board, the treatments have become more, more uh, targeted, okay? The people are living longer, but you're, you're treating them. Like all these clinical trials look at more, look at disease-free survival. They are looking at prolonging your survival, not overall survival. Okay? So that means you're not curing them. So these patients are being on treatments longer and longer and longer. So you want to make sure those treatments don't affect their quality of life in a big way because what you're doing is giving them a quality of life rather than a quantity of life. So, you know, we are, in, you know, we are, there are a few clinical trials that are presented here which looked at quality of, uh, you know, the patient's quality of life questionnaires and talk about the side effects and what patients experienced as part of the treatments.